Hello guys, so in this tutorial we're going to be making this uh, fruit effect. So I have my bunch of fruits here, the apple, orange, lemon and banana. So what's going to happen is we're going to start spawning apples and then bananas and every, or whichever fruits, whichever order you want. And they're just going to clump together using the force field. So I have them all in the collection here. I'm going to spawn them one by one. If you want one particular fruit to spawn like multiple times, like we have apples, then oranges, then apples come again later on. Then you want to duplicate the amount of different um, sets you want. For instance, we'll start with two oranges, two apples, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Um, so I'm going to start with the apples. I'll just move this into scene collection. Let's hide the fruits. And we're going to spawn this guy from the middle. Let's say we want 10 apples. Or let me say five apples. Uh, enable physics, interval of one. And when we shoot, you can see they just drop down. So we need a force field that will pull them together. So I'm going to undo and add a force field. Set the strength to minus 1500. Set the flow to seven and then shoot the apple. So when you shoot, you can see it spawns five apples. If you want to increase the interval, that's also fine. You can make it three, one, two, three, four, five apples. Okay. Now we're going to do another fruit. I'll just name this apples. We'll now do the lemon. So let's just move this to scene collection. Hide the apples. Put, move this guy to the middle. And at this point, we can start spawning lemons. So on frame 10, just come over here. We want, let's say, 10 lemons. Um, force zero interval. Let's make it one. And we can shoot at this point. So when you come back to frame one and press play, you can see we have apples and we have lemons. So um, we can name this collection lemons. View the fruits and we can select the orange now, move it to scene collection, hide the fruits and reset the location of the orange and just choose where you want the orange to start spawning from. I'll say from here. Let's say we want 15 oranges, interval of two and just hit shoot at this point. We can name this collection oranges. Press play and you can see we have apples, lemons and the oranges start to spawn. We can now say more oranges, oh no, more apples, because we just did oranges. And move this to the middle. And you can also grow the apples. So let's say it starts this small. If I scale it by, you can grow it. So on the scale, click this and drag down. And we want, this to, we want it to scale up by 0 0.1 every time it spawns an apple. So we want, let's say, 10 apples, interval of 1. And let's play and see where you want the new apple to start spawning from. I'll do it from around here, like 35. Shoot. And press play. So now we have new apples. Um, okay. New apple spawning, but they're too small for us to see. So I'm just going to undo. And I'll increase this to, let's say, 0.3. And press shoot. So now when the apples spawn, they're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It might look a bit weird even. Yeah, so we have apples that started small and they just became bigger in this group by 0.3. Then lastly, we can do um, the last, that's apples too. So that's why we duplicated the apple in the beginning because that was the second group. Um, I'll just do one more, but now I'll leave this last orange. And for this one, I want, let's say, one banana every, let's make it a bit smaller. One banana every 20 frames. Okay, so I'll set the interval to 20. And we want about one, two, or let me change it to 10. And we want one, two, three, four, five, let's say six bananas. Disable the growth and just hit shoot. I have a banana, another one. So every 10 frames, you'll have a new banana. So simple as that. It's really cool. You can come over to the physics settings, the global rigid body world settings, and tweak values like the speed, can change it to 0.5 or even 0.3, and you'll see how that looks when you play it. So it's all much slower. So it's all much slower. 
like that. You can increase it to two and it's much faster. You can barely see much of the effect. You can add another force field if you want. I'll make this a vortex. And let's see how that behaves. So you can see it's causing the fruits to spin around like that. You can set the force to or the flow to. Let's see how that behaves. But yeah, it's all trial and error. Just play around with different settings and we have objects building up. That's pretty cool. So yeah, have fun. <laughs>